Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Greenwood Girl Cards. I am coming on to do a, an Adorn It share for Diana Markham's Recipe Stamp Club. Um, I got the package in the mail uh, uh, several weeks back, um, uh, but it was when I wasn't uh, coming on to social media at the time. Uh, so I just thought I would go shoot, go through and do a quick share and then show you what I've been working on. Um, you always get a set of papers. If you order the papers, they're wonderful. Um, so if you're part of the Recipe Stamp Club, there's the stamp set, the add-on set, and then the papers. And you can select to be part of one part of the club, two parts, or three parts. Um, so if you ordered the papers, uh, they're so cute this time. I love this toss print with the cowboy hats, the bandanas, the little um, horseshoes, and uh, the sheriff star and the hats and uh, boots, of course. And then on the back of it, it has this really cute barbed wire print. And you get two copies of each paper that you, you know, when you order the paper pack. So that's the first one. And then the second uh, set of two papers is this beautiful chocolate gingham on one side. And then on the other side is this fun red paisley print. Um, so perfect for bandanas, but also I've seen um, patterns similar to this stamped into boots too. So um, anyway, and this is actually like a diamond print um, or a gingham on the diagonal, but if you look closely, um, it it looks more like little diamonds. Um, then the next page is uh, this beautiful yellow print, this yellow um, random dot, and uh, it's a very pretty kind of harvesty gold color. And then on the other side are these cute little horseshoes. So that's a fun print also. Um, and then the last page um, in the collection of papers is this beautiful kind of teal blue color. And then on the other side is the, the print that they do that always has the various um, patterns in the collection. And then usually some blown up pieces that you can hand cut out or use as strips in a card or on a recipe page or however you decide to utilize them. But I love, these make really fun card fronts, uh, just using this with all the different patterns. So those are the papers. Um, and uh, I love the papers this time. And then let me go ahead and show you the stamp sets that come with it. So um, you, the, the recipe for this month is this adorable cowboy beans. And uh, this is a delicious bean recipe. I love that it has bacon and, and onions with all the various um, beans and then brown sugar, and barbecue sauce, and ketchup. So um, we make something like this every year on the 4th of July, and it's so delicious. Um, and then uh, you have some horseshoes, and this is like a little border stamp, or you can also cut them out individually. Um, you have your little sheriff star and then the word howdy. So just a wonderful recipe stamp, especially for summertime and with the 4th of July coming up. And then the add-on is this one here with the bandana. It's got this cute little bandana. And uh, then it has the horseshoe that you can stamp out and cut. You have Giddy Up and Yeehaw. I love the Yeehaw. And then um, you have this lovely scene with this beautiful boot, the hat, and the star. So great for Father's Day cards. So there's that one. And then you also get this bonus um, stamp that you can purchase um, open stock on the website or through, um, uh, through the collection now, through the Recipe Stamp Club, which you can go to recipestampclub.com to get to the Recipe Stamp Club order form uh, for Adorn It. But this one has the word cowboy. It has this neat boot being used as a planter with some cactus in it. And then you have this one that's probably my very favorite image because it reminds me of a pair of boots that I owned when I was young. And uh, this is just so fun to paper piece. Then you have a little pocket that you can use to do lots of different things with. And then this lovely boot too, which you can uh, stamp twice and make a pair of boots. So really quick, I'll show you some of what I've been working on is just paper piecing the boots. And uh, I made a set of brown boots and I used some metallic pen uh, to do the spurs and the little um, haunch hair. And then uh, I did a pair of red paisley boots the same way. And I haven't made these into cards or tags yet, but I will be doing that and then I'll come back on and I'll show my projects to you at that time. And then this particular image I paper pieced with the portrait papers from Irala Miha shop on Etsy. 
Um, I used the beige paper in that collection. It's a collection of four papers. There's pink, beige, and a blue color in it. And you get two pieces of the beige when you print out the collection. Um, and it comes to, four to a page already set up as an A2 size paper. And so I paper pieced using the beige and then you'll see I also used it right here on the hat. This is of course the paper from the collection um, that Diana made and it's this beautiful chocolate brown, um, kind of a diamondy print if you will. And so that's what I used to do the hat. And then I don't know if you can see it, but the stars right here are paper pieced out of a beige gingham color. And uh, so I'll show you the scrap that I have left of that. So it's just beige gingham. And then I did use um, some distress ink to distress it in vintage photo. So that's what I used to just edge the boot as well as this. And then I used some brown Copic marker to color. And then um, this is a the piece of the portrait paper that I used from a Rala Miha shop to cut out uh, and paper piece the boots after I stamped them. So uh, these are my little boot projects that I wanted to come on and just give you a quick view of. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make tags or cards with them. Um, let me know what you would like to see. Would you rather see me make tags or cards? Um, but I just think these are so fun. When I was young, uh, I had a pair of red boots. So I had to make a pair of red ones. And uh, my very favorite pair of boots were more like this. And uh, I actually don't have them anymore, but um, I don't know if I'll ever break a pair of boots in as well as the pair that I had in my 20s. And, uh, and then this last pair, of course, is the lovely chocolate brown again. Um, so I'm looking forward to making projects with these. Uh, thank you guys for coming on and taking a look at what I'm sharing today. I hope that you're all having a good week. And really quick, I thought I would share two cards that I got. Um, in the mail. This one is from my sweet friend, Patty O'Malley. Patty is over on Instagram, and I will link her um, her Instagram feed down below. But she sent this beautiful sympathy card. I love this beautiful floral, and I believe she watercolored these. And uh, I love how she added just a hint of pink around the edges of the flowers, and, uh, and then did a pretty background um, and added some little splatters or dots also. So it's very pretty. I love this beautiful mat that she has with kind of the random edges. I'm not sure if that's penny black or what. Um, and then I love how she added these silver beads um, at the two corners. And of course she tied on some twine. So just a beautiful sympathy card. She wrote me a beautiful note. Patty's a very dear friend. She's been, we've been crafty friends for many, many, many years. And uh, I just, her friendship is a blessing in my life. And uh, there's the back with the sweet little angel on it. So that's that card. And then I also received a beautiful sympathy card from my friend Susan. And my heart and prayers are with Susan and her family and so many others that are going through hard things. My friend Annette and Kevin, um, my heart and prayers are with them and their entire family. And uh, just anyone else that is going through things. My friend Mary, um, I'm praying for you and your husband, Mary. Um, for Tina, of tell him thank you. And uh, just so many others of you that have shared with me that you've had losses. Rhonda, uh, many of you, P, lots of you have had um, deaths in your family. So uh, just thinking of you all this week, I always keep all my crafty friends in my prayers. And uh, don't forget to visit all of the other designers um, for Adorn It. And uh, we're looking forward to learning all of the new designers that have been chosen to represent Diana Markham in this wonderful recipe, Stamp Club. Um, but go ahead and check out Marilyn G's channel. Hi, Marilyn. Jen, who is, uh, um, oh my gosh, Jen, uh, Strawberry Cream 39. Oh, I'm having a mental block this morning. And then D, who is Elegant Embellishments, and uh, myself. And then R and Jetta, who is Cynthia, um, are the current design team. And uh, be sure to go and check all of their projects out. Most of them have already posted tons of beautiful projects using these sets. I'm running a little bit behind, of course, because uh, we lost my dad and I've been busy doing other things. So I will look forward, you guys, to sharing my finished projects with you again. Uh, down in the comments, let me know uh, what you would like to see, if you'd like me to make these into tags or what type of card you'd like me to do. I can do circle cards or um, 
maybe some long tall cards, uh, some mini slim lines or some slim lines or just some regular A2 cards. But uh, I am looking forward to playing with these images as well as uh, the other two, especially the bean one. So I wanna make some 4th of July cards using the cowboy beans um, and send those out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing um, all of these sets and I will be back with you soon to share more. All right, everybody have a great week. Bye now.